Okay guys, welcome back to another episode on this channel. In this video, I'm going to be covering affiliate marketing. I'm going to be explaining what it is, how it works, and everything about affiliate marketing. If you've already been watching videos about affiliate marketing on YouTube and you find it difficult to follow, or you don't know anything about affiliate marketing at all, then this is the perfect video for you. Of course, affiliate marketing is huge and is one of the proven ways of making money online. There are people that are making outrageous amount of money through affiliate marketing. So knowledge about affiliate marketing is really, really important. And in this video, I'm going to give you a rundown of what affiliate marketing is. So be sure to watch this video all the way till the end. But before I get into the video proper, if you're new to this channel, this channel is all about wealth, business, review businesses, websites and apps, and then we talk a little about investing and personal finance. So if all that sounds good to you, then go ahead and tap that red subscribe button and notification bell so that you can be informed anytime we drop a new video. All right, so with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. What is affiliate marketing? So let's say Mr. A owns a product and then Mr. B brings someone who is going to buy that product from Mr. A. Mr. B can be described as an affiliate of Mr. A. And for every sale that Mr. A makes with the help of Mr. B, Mr. A pays Mr. B a certain commission. And that is generally the idea of affiliate marketing. You may want to ask, why do companies even want to pay other people commissions? Why don't they just sell the product themselves? Well, think about it this way. If you were the owner of a store, would you rather promote your products yourself? Or would you rather have 100 to 200 or even 300 affiliates who you will pay 15% on every customer they bring? Picking the second choice is a no-brainer. Companies focus their attention on making their products better and they are very aware that there is no way they can reach all the people in the world or as much customer base as they would like. So they offer a certain percentage commission to anybody who's willing to get a customer. So it's a win-win for everybody. The company wins by getting a larger customer base and then the affiliate wins by getting a little commission from a product that he or she did not produce. So in days past, affiliate marketing was much like real estate. Real estate is going digital now, but it's still pretty much manual somehow. But affiliate marketing has gone really, really far. All you just need to do is to get a link from the company. And then however you want to promote that link, you go ahead and promote the link. And if anybody buys a product from the company through your link, you get paid instantaneously. So that's the way modern day affiliate marketing works. So however you go about promoting your link, that is totally up to the individual. But people generally promote their links through two major methods. One is free traffic and then the other is paid traffic. So how does free traffic work? I'll divide free traffic into two further subcategories. The first one is to build your own social media following. If you want to promote products on, let's say, weight loss, for instance, you build a social media following around weight loss content. So it could be a YouTube channel, an Instagram account, a Facebook group, whatever works best for you, okay? You could also open a blog. The first thing you want to do is to provide value to the members of your group or subscribers to your channel or your followers on Instagram or subscribers to your blog. So you're going to provide a lot of free content to them that is really, really helpful. And then when you have grown your social media following to a very reasonable number of followers, let's say... 100k followers on Instagram or 80,000 members in your Facebook group or 50,000 subscribers on YouTube. Then when you post a referral link in your description box of a video or you post it in your group on your Instagram, because your followers trust and they know you at that point, they'll be more willing to buy through your link. So let's say you have a weight loss group on Facebook and they've been giving them really helpful weight loss tips. Any day you post a link and say, this is a weight loss product that I have used and it worked wonders for me. You guys should check it out. At that point, if you have, let's say, 50,000 members in your group, at least 10,000 of them will see the post. And then let's say 1,000 or 500 will buy through that link. And the commission on weight loss products is actually high. Sometimes you may find weight loss products that have a commission of about $100. So if 1,000 people buy through your referral link and the commission is $100, that's $100,000 already. So there's a lot of money in affiliate marketing. The only thing is building a social media following can take a lot of time. Like on YouTube, on average, to build a following of 50 to 100,000 subscribers could take upwards of two to five years, depending on how serious you are your YouTube channel. On Instagram, 50 to 100K subscribers can take a lot less. Let's say it can take about 8 to 12 months. So in 8 to 12 months of posting on Instagram, one can grow an Instagram following to up to 100,000 followers. And then Facebook groups, I think just about the same thing, 8 to 12 months. So YouTube is by far the hardest, but in the long run, I think YouTube is the most valuable of all of them. So that's the first step, growing a social media following. Or you open a blog, 
and then keep on posting articles and then at some point you can review products on your blog and then have your referral link or your affiliate link somewhere in the article so when people buy through that your affiliate link then you make some commission so the second way is to leverage other people's social media following so instead of building a social media folio, what you want to do is to join Facebook groups or subscribe to YouTube channels or join Instagram accounts that post content that is relevant to the kind of product that you want to promote. So let's say for instance, you want to promote a weight loss product. We decide to go to a YouTube channel that is talking about weight loss. Let's say the YouTube channel has 1 million subscribers. So you can be sure that for every video that the YouTube channel posts, there are going to be a lot of views. And a lot of people that watch YouTube videos go to the comment section of the videos. So what you do to subscribe to those channels and then whenever they drop a video, make sure that your comment is on top and then you say things along the lines of, yes, I've tried what's in this video and it works wonders, but I used it alongside this product and I was able to lose 50 pounds in two or three weeks and then you drop your link. So you can be sure that if that video is going to have like 100,000 views, out of that 100,000 people, maybe 10 to 15 to 20,000 people are going to see that your comments on the top. That is assuming that the YouTuber does not block your comments. If you go through this channel and so many other channels, you will see people that are doing similar things. Then for Facebook groups, you join the Facebook group and then as members, you can make posts in the Facebook group. So you post your link and then you don't just go spamming your link in the group. Nobody's going to click it. You're going to say, I use this kind of product and these are the benefits, something of that nature. But it depends on the admin of the group. If the admin of the group realizes they are trying to promote something, they could block your post. Your post will never be seen by anybody in the group. In general, that is exactly how free traffic works. You're not paying anybody. You're just promoting your link as much as you can through social media. So that's free traffic. The second way to promote your link is paid traffic. And this one is much more scalable, is much more profitable. But I would say it requires a little bit more experience. So paid traffic just involves paying big bodies like Google, Microsoft, YouTube, ETC to promote your link for you. And then you sit and relax. For example, let us Google affiliate marketing. The first thing that comes up is sell online with Shopify. And you see that this is an ad. This ad indicates that this is an ad. So this article you are seeing here is somebody that's trying to say, okay, I see you are interested in affiliate marketing. Why not start a Shopify store? So this person is going to get money if I get started on Shopify. And then you can see the second thing that pops up is also an ad. It is only the third thing that pops up that is not an ad that actually explains what affiliate marketing is. And I can bet that even in this article, there are affiliate links to join whatever. And then the person that wrote the article is going to make some money. So paid traffic just involves running ads. You're going to run ads on Facebook. You can run ads on Facebook, on YouTube, on Google, on Microsoft, they have native ads, that's ads that you run on news websites and those ones convert like crazy. So that's paid traffic. The amount you pay these big bodies depends on you. Sometimes you could decide to pay $25 per day, $100 per day, depending on how long you want your ad campaign to run. And then sometimes after running the ads, you don't make any money. It becomes a loss. That's why I say this one requires a little bit more experience. You need to test out things a little bit in the beginning. And then when you're able to target an audience that is interested in your product, then you can scale. You can pour more money into ads and then make a lot more money. Pay traffic in general, some might argue, gives a lot more money than free traffic. And pay traffic is very scalable. You know, someone can make fifty to thirty thousand dollars a month using paid traffic. That's if you're able to target your ads very well, then paid traffic is the way to go. So that is affiliate marketing in a nutshell. So I think the last question I'm going to answer in this video is how do you get your affiliate links? So there are a couple of ways you can get your affiliate links. You can get your link directly from the company. That is, you go to the company website and you tell them, Hey, I want to be an affiliate of your product. Can I? And they will tell you, Okay, yes, here's your link. Go ahead and promote it. Make money for us and make money for yourself. That's one way. You can decide to promote digital products, supplements, whatever the kind of products you can simply go to the company website. And if you scroll down, you may see affiliates at the bottom of the page. And if you click affiliates, you can request to become an affiliate of the company. But aside going to the company website, there are affiliate marketplaces where you can go and find affiliate links to pretty much any company you want. So one of the biggest affiliate marketplaces you can find is ClickBank. And I recently joined ClickBank. I'll be posting content about my ClickBank journey in future videos. So if you want to see that, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And turn on the bell notification icon so you can be informed anytime I drop a new video. So aside ClickBank, there's also JBZoo and Digital24. But I think by far the biggest affiliate marketplaces are ClickBank and then Digital24. So when you get your affiliate link, usually this link is long. So you may decide to shorten the link using Bitly or TinyURL or any of all these services that shorten URL. And then you go ahead and promote that link through whatever means you want. 
So that's the affiliate marketing in a nutshell. I don't know if you have other questions on affiliate marketing you would like me to answer. If there are, drop them in the comment section of this video. I'll try my best to answer them. And if the questions are much, I may do another video on affiliate marketing, providing answers to the questions in that video. But if there are no more, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video if you haven't already. I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.